All right, just making another quick video. I'm using these as a call uh, for educational purposes. Uh, you know the drill, not financial advice. Okay, here are my plays for the week. I started off with a great AMC play in Robinhood. Yes, I use Robinhood. It's really easy to use. Um, you know, there's a lot of you know, FUD out there. Uh, but anyways, you, you know, we get locked. The smaller traders, we get locked out if we use too many day trades so what my strategy is use two or three platforms and day trade all week so i saw here amc popping up um, like i said before i'm part of a, a investment group that's been helping me um you know and we help each other with calls and all that so here as you can see i got 10 contracts around 6 32 a.m we saw the pump happen i think i got out around here Actually, I'm sure I got a, that was the last screenshot I took. So I've made some nice profit in three minutes, around $220. Um, and then I saw, we saw it rise more. So we I got back in, in my Weibo account, got five contracts. I didn't want to get too greedy. I got all the way up. I, we just saw this, you know, by 649, it was just kept pumping, right? Those, these are the places we actually always dream of, right, as, as traders. So here, I got out around here, an awesome play. I think that was around Monday. Uh, then we go to uh, the Bumble play. This one also worked out awesomely. The contracts were so expensive, so I did a debit spread. Buy, you buy a car, you sell a car. Make sure you're, make sure the um, limit price, the prices are not, um, I'll explain that in another video. The bid and ask, this was a little risky to get out up, but make sure this is not the case most of the time when you're doing this. Um, this was still okay, and I was able to get out. So this was a very difficult play. As you can see here, I started to go down, but we're confident, you know, like I said, the trading group is amazing. And we saw it pump back up. Victory at $325, awesome, right? My final play for the week was the at and play. Shout out to the trading fraternity for that. Uh, um, they, uh, Josh Answers, I'm not sure if you're familiar with him, he called something out, I wanna give them credit. Amazing play, I got in, I got out, $85, not bad. Um, uh, and it's, it's always good to be humble and, you know, respect other. Now we move on to Bitcoin. Bitcoin hit an awesome all-time high of 60k. Um, inflation is coming, guys. Be careful out there. Um, we could see also, you know, the spy pumping the hell up. This is good and bad, you know, because this does not reflect the real economy. We can now print our troubles forever. That's why I'm buying silver. I'm buying a little bit of gold. Um, I got one of these recently, you know, stimulus is coming. I don't want to get priced out before that happens. So I'm going to get a five gram. It's around 324. I'm just going to hold a very beautiful pertinent bar, five grams, not bad. And I got one of these babies right here. Uh, 20, that's around eight ounces. And this is pretty awesome price. I mean, and if you have a stable income coming in, you know, a job, uh, this is my personal opinion, obviously, I'm doing this, you know, just want to make sure I have all my bases covered. And I'm also investing in crypto, $1,000, a so YOLO play in Hex. A lot of people don't like the creator, Richard Hart. I'm not saying a lot of people, but there's a lot of haters out there. I mean, Richard's pretty cool, regardless of the, he built a great product. You have to look at the product, not the person. It's awesome too, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I, I kind of trolled Twitter. Uh, you know, just you have to look at the project and know that it's awesome. He, he built a great product. There's nothing else to say here. Everybody's calling him a scammer. It's not, uh, I don't think it's fair. There's other shit coins out there that have pumped so, so much. I have so much faith in Hex and I'm gonna lock up a thousand dollars for five years, bros. So I'll show you that video later. I'm also yellowing a little bit into, oh no, not Binance Coin, that comes, that's the Terra, I really like the Terra. See, the, the theme here is inflation, hyperinflation, these two 
fight that and along with binance coin they have a they have a mechanism that burns tokens right we want deflation we want a deflationary asset class and statera does that hex does that awesomely and it it controls your yolo demon because it makes you lock up your money you know in five years you could you know you, you could it's a possibility you're gonna be well off even with a thousand dollars i i strongly believe binance coins awesome i think it could reach a thousand dollars but this one it's a better two dollar cost in you're buying very high top price you know compared to um look at this i mean come on well whoever's been around we know we know this shit you know? we know the game here you're going to a bear market and get wrecked that's why i still think these two projects are undervalued i'm i'm spreading out my money uh and yeah that's it for this video um hopefully anybody watching gets a, a source a little you know interesting material and things to think about hyperinflation is very likely coming look into michael burry's um predictions uh and warning okay later guys